Ah, two seconds won't do anything. Ah! Oh my God! So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that video of the guy rinsing or splashing his hands in the water while they're fishing and the shark jumping out of the water to bite him. This is a great example of why you shouldn't splash around at the surface of the water the way that I kind of demonstrate not to do in your videos. Because things like this can happen, the water is very murky, you can't see what's going on. And in the video they say like, I wouldn't stick your hands in there. So assuming they saw the shark or they knew, probably wasn't the best idea to be splashing around. And because they're fishing, it's obviously gonna be attracting sharks into the area. So that's my point number one. And my point number two is gonna be about the species of shark. A lot of people are claiming that it was a bull shark that bit this man, but in fact, it is indeed a lemon shark. And I'm gonna explain to you why I believe that is so. In this image here, you can see how the shark actually, like you don't see the dorsal fin on the top of the shark's body here. And with lemon sharks, their dorsal fin starts really far back on their body which you can see here in this image, you can see how the dorsal fin is almost like halfway down their body. And even the thinner head shape here looks like a lemon shark. If this was a bull shark, you'd really be able to clearly see the dorsal fin breaking the surface of the water as the shark came out of the water to bite this man because their dorsal fin is placed so much closer to the front of their body and towards their head. A bull shark's dorsal fin actually starts right in line with basically the middle of their pectoral fin, which is not the case for lemon sharks. In another screen grab from that video that I showed you previously, you can see the pectoral fins, but there is no dorsal fin up on the top of the shark's body, which is because it starts further back on their body because it is a lemon shark. It's just interesting to me how media outlets don't really talk to scientists or anybody that has experience working with these animals to confirm the species identification, and they tend to just go for the one that is the obvious you know, answer that the bull shark was the one attacking people. And it's crazy to me how this really even counts as a shark attack because they're fishing and splashing at the surface of the water. Basically, he's dangling his hands in, trying to entice this type of interaction. So it's another case of human error that leads to sharks looking like man-eating monsters. If you guys have any questions or you want to add anything to continue the discussion, please feel free to leave a comment below.